What's up Capricorn? It's West Coast Tarot with your October How Do They Feel About Me love reading. This is for my lovely Capricorns. Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general love reading and may not resonate with every Capricorn out there. But if you like my style and I vibe with you, please like and subscribe to catch future West Coast Tarot videos. And if you want to purchase a personal reading or want to know about any of the tarot decks that I use, all that information can be found down below, as well as how to contact me with business questions, okay? So guys, this is for those who are dealing with someone and they need guidance and clarity. Maybe you're separated, maybe there's no communication, um, you just don't know where you stand or you're having issues in your relationship, okay? So if that sounds like something that you are going through, then this is the video for you. Um... So Spirit, tell me about Capricorn's person. How does they feel about Capricorn for the month of October? Bring forth the current energies, please, between Capricorn and their person. How does this person feel about Capricorn? You guys, this is a general, so again, roles and energies can be reversed. Okay. How does this... Ooh! Okay, so we have the Six of Cups in reverse. So I feel like um, there's definitely an energy here of wanting to be free of a situation, wanting to move forward, you know, wanting to be independent, okay? So I feel like someone could be stuck in deep thought, um, might be in a situation out of duty or responsibilities, and I feel like someone's wanting to um, break away from the situation, okay? It's also water energy, Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. Tell me about Capricorn's person, please. How does this person feel about them? Or maybe someone feels that you are you have moved on or you're independent. Capricorn. Okay, so we have four of coins in reverse. Nine of blades. Knight of coins. The emperor. Queen of coins. Justice in reverse. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have Eight of Cups. Okay. So this, again, is more water energy. Um, this is definitely an issue of, I feel like someone may have walked away from a situation. Um, this could have been due to disillusionment or something that they were told or a belief system, um, a thought. But I feel like someone here left a situation. They walked away. Um, they ignored their duties like there's dirty dishes in the sink okay so I definitely feel like um, you guys might be dealing with someone who walked away from their responsibility or someone who walked away to go take care of responsibilities out of duty but I definitely feel like someone here is on the pursuit of their ninth cup when you are on an eight of cups journey you're looking for your nine of cups you're looking for your happiness you're looking after your wish fulfillment you want to be satisfied okay but I definitely get the feeling that someone may have walked away from a situation. And again, it might be, you know, out of their own happiness, but it could have been out of disillusionment um, with the moon there. There may have been something hidden that was not known or that was not brought up to the surface, okay? What this person is showing you, we have four of coins in reverse. Um, I do feel like there is, this person might be showing you that they're letting go of a situation. Um, they're not really wanting to deal with it. They could be very guarded. Um, but I feel like there was definitely a situation here where someone thought it was easier to let go than to hold on. Um, that's what I see here. So, so this person could be very focused on work. Okay. What is this person showing Capricorn, please? I do have the page of wands here, so this is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but I feel like this person is someone who is exploring, and they may have let go, they're out exploring, um, they're excited about life, they are free, they may be free of a situation. With the ace of swords here, I definitely feel like they're going through some sort of breakthrough. Um, that's what I see here. For some of you, you guys might be seeing that your person may have just got out of another situation too. Okay, so you guys could be dealing with someone who is newly single, 
may have cut out a situation, may have made had a breakthrough in their life, may have let go of a situation that um, they were holding on to that wasn't serving them. Or for others of you, I do see that you guys are dealing with someone who may have neglected their duties or responsibility and may have walked away from you, okay? How this person seeing you, we have nine of blades. So I feel like this person, you know, how they're viewing you or how they see you, um, you know, maybe you don't want to be seen. You could be hiding, okay? Um, numbing yourself, going through anxiety, okay? Having anxiety. Um, they're seeing you as someone that has a lot of worry. You're feeling like you have the worry of the world on your shoulder. Why is Nine of Blades here, please? How is this person viewing Capricorn? They feel it's unfair. So some of you, they could view you as someone who's married. Someone who's dishonest or unaccountable. But I feel like this person through it all... I feel like this person still has hope for you with the star here. This is Aquarius energy. Like, I feel like this person knows that there's been a lot between the two of you. There's been unfairness here. There's been an uncountability, a lack of balance. But I feel like a part of you, I feel like this person feels that they would like to heal the situation. Okay. Or they still have faith or hope. That things will be fine. I feel like for those of you who are going through a sickness too, or have been very sick, who have been very ill, like ill, um, they see that you're trying to recover. You're you're trying to heal from this. Okay. How this person feels about you? We have Knight of Coins. So some of you could be dealing with another Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But I feel like this person, how they feel about you, you know, they feel like you're very responsible, very hardworking, very efficient. But I also feel like this person's concentrating on you or would like to work on a situation with you. But I feel like this person's being very slow in their approach towards you. Um, this is someone who could be very distracted with work. How does this person feel about Capricorn, please? And the Nine of Cups. Yeah, I feel like right now, how they feel about you with the Nine of Cups in reverse, it's like they're not happy about the current situation. They're not happy about how everything is. Um, they don't feel fulfilled in the current situation or the current energy. Um, oh, sorry. I do feel like they want to grow with you, but with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, it's like almost like... Like there's a lack of stability here. Or there's a lack of resources. So either you, this person's working hard to accumulate something or you are, okay? And I feel like right now that's what could be holding this connection back is that they feel like there's something that's not enough, okay? Maybe they feel like they're not good enough for you just yet or feel like they don't have what it takes to make you happy, Um and that can de directly affect love. You know, I see a lot of situations where, you know, people are unhappy in their current circumstances or their environment, um, but because of money or because of duty or because of responsibility, they stay in that situation. And that's something that a lot of us can identify with. And I feel like um, this person might be working hard or sacrificing, not in the happiest, you know, they may not be happy that they're disconnected from you, but I feel like this person is trying to work on their resources, is trying to accumulate, okay? Because I feel like with the emperor here, they're really focusing on the responsibilities. Um, this is the emperor. This is Aries energy. This is a very business-oriented, very responsible energy. I do feel like they're focusing more so on their structure and they're con getting back control of their life, um, getting, getting control of their duties, their business, I definitely see here also this is someone who could have um, a family or children, okay? Um, I feel like this person has their hand out, so I feel like this person does want to work with you. 
but I feel like it comes down to timing. Why is the emperor here, please? Yeah, this person still has feelings for you. Definitely still has romantic feelings for you. I feel like they would like to communicate with you. But I feel like right now they're just maybe taking their time and their approach towards you because there's something that they're working on. Okay, there's definitely something that they're working on. With the Queen of Coins here, again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. But I really feel like this person is taking care of the practical things um, in their life. They're nurturing their family, their children. This could be you, Capricorn. Maybe you're focusing more so on the practical things of life. Okay, maybe you're focusing on your responsibilities, on your duties. Just making sure that things are taken care of. But I feel like that's what a really big energy here is that things are just trying to fall into place. Things are... I feel like you or this person is trying to work on the more practical things in life, the things that matter so that things can grow, okay? Why is the Queen of Queens here, please? Yeah, because there's definitely like been some sort of uh, money issues or lack of resources or bad luck, okay? More fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, I get the energy that someone's just trying to be brave or fearless and doing what they have to do. They're taking action. They're overcoming bad luck. And they're focusing on the practical things in life. Okay. Action this person's taking towards you. We have justice in reverse. This is Libra energy. Okay, um, but I feel like there's definitely been a situation here that's been very unfair, um, pettiness, and accountability here. And I feel like this person is just trying to get things under control, get things balanced out. Clarify the justice. How is this person approaching Capricorn, please? Yeah. I feel like this person wants to overcome with you. They're still interested in you. They still desire you. But just right now, they're very um, money-oriented or um, they're focusing on their ambition. But I feel like through it all, through the unfairness, through the drama, through the pettiness here, I feel like this person would like to have a new venture with you. Um, someone could be married her or just got out of a marriage or is getting out of a marriage or out of a long-term commitment to, um, or just closed a case, uh, something legal with the justice system. And I feel like this person is wanting another chance with you or wanting to try things out again with the Ace of Pentacles here. Okay. Tell me about this connection, please, Spirit. Tell me about this connection for Capricorn. Tell me about Capricorn's person. Capricorn and their person. Too many. Woo. Okay, I saw Marion before this one popped out. But for you guys, there might be some sort of change or significance for the winter. Things might start to change towards the winter time. Um, things might be cold right now. With Mary that showed me earlier, um, both of you guys or some of you guys could be in situations where both of you are in similar circumstances or similar situations, okay? But there's going to be some sort of change around the winter or winter can be significant. Tell me about Capricorn and their person, please. Ooh, cards all over the place. Yeah, there's going to be a sort of a new direction towards the winter time, okay? Um, could be a fresh start around the winter time. So I feel like there's something, there's seeds that are being planted, there's things that are going to grow. There's going to be growth towards the winter. There's going to be some sort of new direction. Someone's going to go towards the sun, 
go towards their happiness, okay? A fresh start. So I feel like there will be a fresh start. So if you did, or if you are separated from your person, um, there's going to be growth, okay? There's going to be some sort of change. Tell me about Capricorns, please. What are the energies here? Yeah, pleasure seeker um, and reunion. So you guys could be dealing with someone who may have stepped out to go find happiness in a different direction. Um, someone who went to find something else. With the Eight of Cups, they walked away. Okay, they walked away out of disillusionment. But I definitely feel like there's going to be some sort of reunion here. Um, you guys might get to go out or reconcile around the winter time and take things in a new direction towards a fresh start, okay? Um, angels, what messages do you have for Capricorn, please? And this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. So yeah, it's definitely someone from your past. I don't get a new person coming towards you. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. That's my favorite thing. Um, is to just be hands off and just let it um, things unfold organically. There's things that you can't change. And I feel like, um, you know, you just have to realize that things happen for a certain reason, that there's a lesson in everything, there's a beauty in everything, and I feel like, um, you know, if someone really cares about you enough, if someone loves you enough, if you matter, then they will try to fix it, they will try to make it right, but there's nothing that you can specifically do, you know, you have to let go of control issues sometimes, and give it to God, give it to universe, okay? And pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So now may not be a right time. Um, let me clarify this a little further. Why did this come out? Please pay attention to the red flags. Yeah, so there could be an energy here of detachment. Um, with the King of Wands in reverse, this is someone who has very... Um, unachievable expectations or um, might make really bad decisions that are very impulsive. So I feel like, you know, don't make impulsive decisions. Don't make a decision, a permanent decision on a temporary feeling, um, which is what people can do. You know, people are so quick to like, um, I just did a reading on this earlier, a private reading, you know, where people just cut someone off or um, make a permanent decision on a temporary situation. I think we're all kind of guilty of that. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm guilty of that too. So I feel like you guys just need to pay attention to the red flags. If the signs are cautioning you, um, in one direction, just pay attention because the universe sends us signs, you know, but I feel like most importantly, let go of control issues and, um, you've already met the person that you seek and there could be a potential reunion towards the winter. There could be things that start to change. Okay. Okay, I think I got everything, so I'm going to leave it here. Capricorn, don't forget to like and subscribe. Personal readings, all that information's down below. Love and light to you guys. Take care.